The night on the way home is ripped toward first just past Thomas. And down the right field line, extra bases to start the day for Chang. Barracoto digs it out in right, throw back to the infield, bounces towards second. Now heads over to third base, picked up there by Glowinki, races over, flips it to Birdsong, who tries to slap the tag down on Chang, but it's just late. And he ends up picking an extra base on the wild throw back to the infield from Barracoto. So we are underway tonight. First pitch delivered at 6.05 p.m. for the Flying Squirrels. And the curve deals the 2-2. And a chopper hit towards second. Picked up by Soleri. Fires to the plate. The tag missed by Sugasti. Chang slid behind the tag. Got the back corner of the plate and he scores. And the curve have taken a 1-0 lead on the RBI by Seth Beer. Soleri's throw is just a little off to the right side for Sugasti, so he had to turn around. The tag missed Chang, and he got home and scored. The infield in, there was a chance at a play there. Soleri had to field a very high hop, rushed the throw home. And counts per nine, just under 12. First pitch to Chang is taken for a called strike. Play. A one count for Chang. Birdsong throws. Misses Hyde outside. One ball and one. One ball, one strike to count. Here's his pitch. Bounced it in. Two balls and a strike. He has allowed over half of his runs that he has surrendered on the season in first gets to the first cleanly, especially. 2 1 pitch. And a poke foul, or excuse me, fair. That's going to drop just fair on top of the stripe down the left field side for Chang. He's heading for second. Morris throws that way, and it's just late. And it's a two out double for Chang. His second double today. Dropped it right on top of the stripe down the left field line. It was a change up away, and he just reached out and poked it to the left side. So a two out base runner for Altuna, and Joe Perez is up next. That ball was fair by maybe just a couple of inches, maybe even less than the width of one baseball. All that green out there, and he found just inside the left field stripe. Now the first offer to Chang. Called a strike on the upper half season. First, or the next pitch is rocketed fouled a couple years ago. 0 2 pitch, swing and a miss for strike three. And Birdsong were active since they had it at the calendar date. First pitch, breaking ball brushes back Chang for ball one. Did not make the playoffs. Here's the pitch and a check swing foul straight back. Down on Chang, Swinney checks a second and throws. And a foul straight back. It's one and two. They did not use it. Two looks at second base, now throws. And a curveball softly rolled at the first base side foul. Still one and two. Here's the one-two pitch. Curveball, outside. Check swing by Chang, it's two and two. A two and two count on Chang, the pitch. Check swing. Missed outside and he held back. So it's on Chang, Swinney's payoff pitch. Curveball, called strike three, got him looking. Top of the strike zone with that 74 mile per hour breaker, and there is out number two. Glowinki, the pitch heading home. Glowinki rockets one to left, base hit. Scott over to grab it quickly, throws towards second. Glowinki's trying for two, the throw over, and he's out in plenty of time. And that ends the bottom of the ninth inning. Glowinki, a little aggressive, trying to stretch that. Connor Scott is the runner at second base to start the inning for an Altoona. Left-handed batter against Keist. All square, 3-3 three, three as we start the 10th. He sets, first pitch. Swing and a miss for strike one. Keist and the pitch to Chang. Rips it toward right center, base hit. That falls down in front of Barracoto. Scott's around third. He heads home and scores. And the place runner comes home. The curve are on top now, 4-3 in the top of the 10th. RBI single for Chang. And Joe Perez. Will. And a throw goes over to first base. Chang barely got back in. Kevin Pichardo, Kevin Pichardo gave him a walk-off win. 3-2 on the way. On the ground to first. Thomas has it. Touches second. Touches first. Tires, fires down to second. And gets the out there. Paul's is there to slap the tag on Chang. And that ends the top of the 10th inning. A double play ground out. We head at the bottom of the 10th. 
A nicely turned 3-6 double play. Thomas got the bag at first and then down to Koss for the tag at second. A little bump there from Chang, and that is how the top of the 10th comes to a close. Flying Squirrels will look to rally in the bottom of the 10th. It's 4 The 0-1 pitch. Ground ball sharply hit to short. Grabbed there by Chang. He throws to third base and gets the force out there. And that is how the ball game comes to an end. Curve take this one in 10 innings, 4-3. to three. Flying Squirrels have dropped three straight against Altoona. As they are closing in on hitting the 20-win mark now this season. This one in 10 innings, a 